There's only one thing to do. Drop it. Welcome, friends, to the Robotnik is Sexy Show. This is going to be an RU replay. Uh, I'm going to, of course, lead with Rotom. I'm just going to go for the trick, uh, because he has a lot of things that don't want to be tricked, namely Spiritomb and Yuxi. So I'm going to nail the Spiritomb with my specs, and then uh, Volt Switch out of there, which is fine. Uh, Sammy J is uh, sadly probably the best thing I have to take on uh, Yuxi because it is such a boss, uh, really hard to uh, you know do anything to it. Um, predicting either the Thunder Wave or the the Psychic Attack, I am gonna take this opportunity to switch into Gold Member and get up some Steel Frocks, and then I'm gonna switch out into Kiss from a Rose on the way. How does that lyric go? I don't know, whatever. Uh, he's going to uh, U-turn into Spear Tomb, which is absolutely fine. But the choice specs I gave it is actually kind of kind of kicking my ass. But uh, the damage is low enough that I can get up two Toxic Spike layers and get a rest off, which is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Roselia, why did you ever move to NU? I don't understand. You are beautiful. Uh, so now I'm going to switch into a Dark Pulse uh, with Neckbeard. And I take it horribly, uh, but I am going to take it well enough to fire off two Flare Blitzes, which is fine, as he's uh, pretty clearly death foddering his Spirit Tomb, as it is kind of worthless. Anyway, uh, now I get a free switch into Elibit the Rotom, uh, who has leftovers now, and threatens everything in RU, um, basically. Now, this part here, I legitimately thought he was going to overpredict and go for Volt Switch, and that's why I stayed in. Uh, I didn't want to give him the switch advantage, so Rotom's going to go down to a uh, Leaf Storm thing, and that kind of sucks, but on the heels of that, I can safely bring in Buffalon and get up a sub, and then take out um, whatever I want with the Head Smash, which happens to be Primate. Uh, now his what is going to come in, um, you know, Sammy J is a bulky motherfucker, so he can take whatever and just retaliate back with a Head, head, head Charge? Head Charge? I hope I didn't call it Head Smash before because it's head charge they're technically different uh pokemon move names are really dumb they all sound really similar so uh steve Irwin's gonna eat a lumberry uh cure his poison and dd in my face now i'm gonna trick room and then do some damage with uh with psychic and now i hope i'm gonna take him out with a good drain i do uh super good uh Roselia and trick room man uh really really good uh, so now his last is jackie chan um, I'm gonna go for Giga Drain, and then, um, I'm gonna switch it up to Sludge Bomb here, just because I was hoping that the, he would go down to Toxic Damage, but it doesn't do enough damage, and that is very, uh, foolhardy of me to switch it up, because had I just gone for Giga Drains, I would've just taken him out with two Giga Drains, and it would've been over. Uh, but now Gold Member is gonna have to take a Fighting Attack, even without the Impish Nature, with no Defense Investment. Steelix can take fighting stab attacks. It's crazy. I have a special defensive careful Steelix, and he takes CC's just fine now. Uh, on this uh, replay, I am going to be in the top right corner, and we are going to have a taunt off, and I have a mental herb, so that taunt is nullified, and because he has Prankster, he moves first, and all that jazz, but um, this is the first time I tried using this team on my laptop. I was at a friend's house and I accidentally gave Mew a timid ability which means he's not gonna break B sharp's sub which is really annoying because Mew has base 100 attack if you make it jolly it can break pretty much any sub I'm actually thinking about giving it a little bit of attack investment just so I can break more subs because I had a match after this that was really excellent but there was a Calm Mind uh, substitute Raikou who just raped my asshole because I couldn't break his sub with the U-turn because I gave him the wrong nature and that really pissed me off. Now, anyway, let's get back to this battle. Uh, Daffy versus Sableye. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about putting Charge Beam on Daffy uh, just because 
Um, it would really alleviate the fact that even with uh, max special attack, quiet nature, it can't kill things. Like, it fails to kill Cuckoodile, it doesn't do nearly enough to, uh, to uh, say a blight, but, um, you know, either way, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna predict the switch into Cuckoodile, go for the Ice Beam, and then um, just gonna go for the Trick Room uh, as I survive the Earthquake, and he switches out as uh, Houndoom eats an Ice Beam very well. Now I'm going to predict that Sucker Punch go into Bluto the Machamp. Have I mentioned this is a Mono Dark underused team and how cool that is? That is incredibly cool. Uh, but now that Trick Room is on my side, I can Stone Edge and Deep Punch all of the things, which is nice. Um, but there's nothing I can do to Scrafty. I'm just going to have to let Machamp go, which might actually seem like a pretty dumb move. Uh, as Machamp clearly threatens his entire team. So, I don't know, I could have foddered Mew instead, but whatever, for whatever reason, I'm going to fodder Machamp, and that's just going to be the way it goes. For some reason, this man is going to DD. Why? Why? You could have gone for Crunch. I probably would have lived it, um, you know, to be fair. Maybe? Uh, maybe I wouldn't have lived it. I don't know. Like, maybe that Crunch would have taken me out. Uh, Victini is base 100 across the board so he's pretty bulky but he's gonna let me get up um get up that trick room which kind of doesn't matter because in the way in the end i'm gonna lock myself into choice banded aqua jet and that is going to be enough to take that game and now this is going to be a never use match uh, for the first time ever i'm going to switch out uh papillon the unpheasant for a lipard uh, pretty much the same lipard i use in my articuno team except i swap out um Rain Dance for Sunny Day, and I'm getting my ass kicked by a Scolipede, have you noticed? Uh, yeah. Uh, for some reason, I, uh, forgot that lead Scolipede is definitely gonna be a thing with Focus Sash, so I'm gonna have to burn through not only my Lipard, but my Charizard, so I am really, really kicking myself for that, because that is dumb. That is mad dumb. Um, yeah, I just threw my Charizard out the window, because I've you know, somehow forgot that if it's a lead Scolipede, it has to be Sash, especially in Never Use, so uh, I'm, I'm feeling kind of pessimistic about that first couple turns, but it seems like he has nothing at all to deal with uh, my choice specs Exeggutor. I'm going to land a crit on, Mag uh, on Magmar, and he lives on 1%, which is uh, kind of silly. Um, I want to say it didn't matter, but I honestly don't know. It probably didn't matter, but I will say this, uh, it influences him to leave Magmar in his death fodder as I just kill, uh, kill it with Scald, and now he really, really is nothing for Exeggutor, especially now that he U-turn killed me, so, yeah. Uh, you know, if you had killed um, War Turtle with Punishment or something, I would have been in a tough spot if you do carry Punishment, but... Yeah, now Exeggutor can just blast anything in the booty and uh, just call it good. And this is going to be an ingenious play. Uh, I'm going to switch out into Boy George, predicting the uh, boosting move. And lo and behold, uh, I'm going to trick it the scarf as he is locked into Calm Mind. And that is beautiful, my friends. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I guess because he Calm Mind did twice. Uh, and that, I don't know, um, that, for whatever reason, that is going to be my opponent's downfall because now I can just go. For Psychic, kill the uh, Primeape, and now it's just Gardevoir remaining, and I can Sucker Punch for the super clean win. Um, very, very nice battle. Um, yeah, Lightheart is definitely better than Infezant. Now, this is going to be a battle I had against Cosmo Kramer of the Seinfeld fame. He's going to be with Dr. Bray, and he is going to do an unprotected Focus Punch on Alice and take me out in one hit. That is pretty, pretty daunting. So, yeah, what is... One of my Pokemon is asleep, I, it's probably Scissor or something, and I lost Conkleter immediately. So this is really, 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 really terrible. And he has an exploding Mew, uh, who explodes after using Taunt. I should have gotten up Stealth Rocks here. Um, not getting up Stealth Rocks is really going to bite me in the balls later. Now his Zada is going to come out. Um, I'm, I think I'm too afraid to go for Will-O-Wisp. Or, yeah, I don't because he has Heatran. I go for Surf instead, which is pretty darn smart if I say so myself because he has two fire types so you know he'd definitely want to switch one in and that's great and you might have hidden power grass but that's fine I really 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 should have taken the uh, chance to recover here but I don't which uh, really kind of sucks 
Uh, so Zod's in, uh, I don't know if Jellison would have outsped or not. I probably maybe should have gone for Lewis, but whatever. Um, I'm going to Death Fodder Tranitar and then see this opportunity to set up a Trick Room, and then Metagross explodes on my face, and he doesn't even have a normal gem. He has, just has a Life Orb, so... I guess Metagross does have a super rare uh, unseen niche of using Explosion really well, because Metagross has gigantic attack stat. Uh, yeah, just I'm enormous, so Life Orb Explosion is enough to take out Reuniclus, and that, unfortunately, friends, is going to be the nail in the coffin, because uh, without, without my precious little Trick Room gimmick, this team is too slow to compete with Scarfictini. And, uh, yeah, Victini is just going to destroy my life. Um, but I think, uh, subconsciously, uh, his team, because I had this match a while ago, this team actually did influence, um, the creation of my, uh, Trick Room Underuse team. Um, yeah, because, you know, Mew and... Uh, Victini are both underused, uh, funny, funnily enough, um, they fit there pretty well because underused is a very overpowered, uh, over-legendary to tier. It's just filled to the brim with legendaries, but I'm not gonna rant about underused. Um, yeah, so that match was awesome, a good enough loss to record. Usually my loss is either I don't lose or I just forfeit because I'm doing really, really bad, so the match is really not worth watching. It would be really boring. Um, but yeah, uh, occasionally I will have a loss that is good enough to upload, and that is one of those. So if you enjoyed that loss and the other uh, three matches before it, uh, leave a like, rating, and a comment, and I will see you later, YouTube.